Hello everyone and welcome back to Symphony of Colors. I brought these 6 by 6 inches tiles and today I want to try all the acrylic pouring techniques. The colors that I am using today are random paints from different pours. I have all my favorite colors here. I have golden, green, yellow, blues, magenta and aqua colors and a large cup of white paint. So all these paints are mixed with the pouring medium consisting of Demco pouring medium, Floetrol, Gloss medium, Elmo's glue and water. The ratio of these ingredients are available in the description box below. I have standardized these ratio but if you are starting new and some of these ingredients are not available where you live then start by mixing paints with PVA glue in a 70 to 30 ratio and bring it out to a nice warm honey like consistency by adding water to it and I am sure it will work for you. I have also added two to three drops of silicone in each paint. Silicone oil is present in many hardware lubricants and as dimethicone in hair care product. Both of these give very good results. Actually these help in separating the paints and in the formation of cells. After adding silicone oil, I mix it thoroughly in the paint and pouring medium mixture. Since I am using tiles today, I will collect the excess drip paint in the slid. In the acrylic pouring, you mix colors of your choice in a cup and then pour in different ways. The first technique that I am trying today is a flip cup. When you put your canvas or tile on the cup after pouring uh, uh, different colors in it and flip these, it is a flip cup technique. Now the pigment particle in the paints have different weights and different densities. When you flip a cup, there is movement in the paint. White which is generally poured at the base and comes on the top in a flip cup is heavier paint and moves to the bottom quickly separating other colors and generally you see cell activity immediately. I added white at the bottom and now I am adding other colors on white. I am layering colors and uh, before pouring I will uh, cross the paint slightly with the craft stick. Now I will put the tile on cup and flip the cup with tile. After letting the cup uh, sit like this for uh, 40 to 50 seconds, I will then lift the cup. You can see that each color is separate. Now by using heat gun on high setting on this paint, uh, the cells will appear very quickly. And once you have all the cells there, just tilt the canvas or in this case I am tilting the tile so that we can uh, cover the entire tile. This tile is almost done and all my favorite colors are there on the tile. They are very nice patterns so I am loving it and I will call it final now. The next technique that I'll uh, use on this tile is dirty pour technique. In the dirty pour technique, you add different colors in the cup and then pour the color mix on the canvas or on the tile. So in the first pour, uh, in the flip cup pour, I had used a full one ounce or around 30 ml of uh, paint, but this time I'll use uh, a half amount of that. 
I like dirty coat as uh, you have more control in the dirty coat and you can pour the color mix any ways you like in the circle or uh, in square and uh, you know cover the entire canvas with it so I had enough paint to cover this entire tile I'm now using heat gun to heat the paint and heat gun is on high setting so you can see that uh, some uh, nice and unique patterns have appeared due to the heat gun uh, now I can tilt and remove the areas that I don't like but if I tilt it too much I'll lose the wonderful bead like cells that have appeared on this so my dirty um, cup tile is ready and I'm really loving this uh, there is some yellow and uh, bronze and gold color as you know is, uh, peeping out of the blues and magentas See here that I have used this almost the same colors but with a dirty pour I was able to create all together different pattern so this is our dirty pour the next technique that uh, I'm demonstrating here is swipe technique a uh, swipe technique is a fairly manageable technique and uh, uh, you definitely get cells in this technique uh, I'm demonstrating here a uh, swiping on horizontal lines I have laid uh, colors horizontally on this tile and then I will swipe with white color we use white color and sometimes black color because these are heavier color and when uh, we swipe these colors over other colors uh, white or black go down and the other rest of the colors come out so that way the cell formation becomes easier so I have laid my colors and uh, the pattern that I like the most and uh, covered the rest of the tile uh, with white and now I will using a swiping uh, tool I'll swipe over this you can use a spatula any card or uh, a paper towel as well and if you feel that swiping in the first go has not been done properly uh, clean your swiping tool and uh, swipe again with uh, rest of the white if you use dirty uh, tool then you will lose the nice and white uh, area on one end so this is done I'm using heat gun at this point and uh, very nice cells have appeared and I'll slightly tilt it uh, to remove white because I feel that there's too much white on this and this is our uh, horizontally swiped tile it's done uh, it's lovely it, it it is very different from the first two tiles so this is just how you lay the colors and how you uh, move them on the uh, tile or on the con canvas makes a, such a uh, big difference on this fourth tile I'll again demonstrate a swipe technique but instead of horizontal line this time I will lay the colors in vertical lines against the color that I will swipe with and you will see that uh, the results will be absolutely different so that's why I am demonstrating both the swipe uh, horizontal and vertical swipe technique to you Here I have added uh, 
red, blue, yellow, golden colors and uh, colors are uh, separated from each other and like last time I'll uh, pour white color on one side and then using swiping tool swipe over the colors. Now I will use heat gun and very nice large number of cells have appeared here. So this is the swiping technique, two, two types of swiping technique. You can get creative and, uh, you know, create different pattern and then swipe over those patterns and definitely different uh, type of uh, results will come. So I hope you enjoyed all these techniques and I'll show you the rest of the techniques in the next video. Thank you.